Jeffrey Glock take God knows what. Kind of given up on announcing the beginning of each one because it's just depressing. I'm a little excited and everything. And then fail. It's a big false, which normally I'd be very happy about. But as I feel through the lock, I can tell that very little is set. Armor false. As in from a freak, the insane man who came up with this lock. Oh, yes! Finally! Oh, thank God. Oh, I don't even have time to gut it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Here's a zoom in. Open. Farmer Freak. Pinned lock from my good friend Bosnian Bill. Oh, Jesus. All right. Did you take the screwdriver? Yes. I need it back right now. Um, okay, so while my wife is getting the screwdriver, um, here's the key. Bidding, it's a standard quick set key, 52521. Five, so low, high, low, high, high. And here she is with the key. Works beautifully. There's my screwdriver, thank you very much. Remove the cam. With the screwdriver in the remove position. Okay, we have one screw. We have two screws. I'm trying to remember what I was planning on using as my follower.
just flip this straight upside down. Let's get this on here. Okay, now this looks like a five pin lock, it's actually a six pin lock, so it's a clever, cleverly using the last bit as the, um, or the, the end of the key for the last pin. Um, all of the bottom pins look normal, so I'm going to leave those alone, and I happen to know what we're about to get into from these top pins, so these are the ones that you'll find most exciting. Make sure I'll zoom in a little bit here. Alright, here we go. Pin one is a T, followed by a Another T inside a spring. Pin two is another T pin, which I have upside down. All of these face point up like that, followed by another T, which did come out my letters. There we go. And it goes on like that. And because I don't want to have to put the whole thing back together, I'm not going to take the rest of it apart. I just have to trust that because I was on take 10, that that's what was going on. But let's zoom in again. This is what you have in every chamber. We have in focus there. You have this T-shaped pin, which is like a spool with the top cut off. And then there's another one here. You can't see the top of it because it's inside the spring. It's like two spools. Now, I don't think, I don't know how much the, the T on the top really interacts with anything. It might. Um, on the really uh, high cut ones, you might end up with... with this spool all the way down in and then this guy down in here but obviously the, the spring gets into the chamber you're gonna have a problem so but this little thing is just able to get all sorts of cattywampus in the in the chamber um, and uh, really doesn't clear the way you'd expect uh, you may have noticed me running the spool or running the, the uh, plug backwards to try to um, to get out of false and uh, with all those super spools in there it kind of starts out in false. It looks like the back two pins were very low set. Actually not so much but anyhow let's take a look at a couple of the bottom pins. There's one or key pins for those of you that put your locks in upside down. There's two, and so on. So, I believe the first part of the bidding is accurate. And that last pen is nasty. Let's see what he is. The surprise sixth pin in the five pin lock. Well, the lock with the five pin, five bitted key. And this appears to be, huh. This doesn't look like a key pin, that looks more like a driver. Which could be why I was having trouble getting underneath of it. So there's no pointy end on that. Let's see. That should look great against that cardboard, doesn't it? But, come on. I don't know how well you can see here. Well, zoom in. 
but that was that was actually pin six. But this is not a key pin. That's a top pin. There's no bevel on it. And so that was making it really hard to get in there. Plus, I wasn't expecting him to be there. Well, I should have, because I watched Bill's video, but anyhow. So, Farmer Freak, nicely done. Um, it's the third time I've opened that lock, and it took me, I think, about two hours to get it on film this time. Picked it twice yesterday. Um, it's a hell of a, hell of a pinning in there. Thanks to Bill for uh, loaning me the lock, and I think thanks to Kokomo for lending Bill the lock. So, anyhow, um, this is Alex. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun, and as always, please keep it legal. Cheers.